this is a picture of a biplane that I found on Pixabay and I went ahead and drew it out fairly accurately um, on my paper. I am not terribly familiar with airplanes so it seemed that I could use all the help I can get. And I'm going to go ahead and mask the plane. And I think that because of the pale colors in here, I will mask all of the plane. This is a slightly bigger brush than I normally use because I have a lot of area to cover. For the background of the airplane, I'd like to make a sky, and I'd like it to have a little bit of interest, but not a lot of interest. And I'm going to use sailboat blue, some alcohol in this applicator, and the dryer to uh, just make some pattern in the background. So I want it blue with a pattern, not particularly any developed clouds. I'm going to start with some alcohol. Just kind of pouring that on and I'm dropping the ink. And we'll let that dry. I'm going to remove the masking fluid on our airplane. Now that the masking fluid is removed, I'm going to begin putting a base layer of paint on, or ink on. And I'm going to just choose sunshine yellow. And it'll, you know, some of these areas are definitely in shadow, but that color will blend in with the shadow color. So this is just sunshine, pretty much over most of the airplane. There's a kind of burgundy rim around the tail and I'm just leaving a little space there. That way we won't bleed into the blue and it'll be covered anyway. little close for comfort. This is some eggplant. I'm going to add in some of the shadow areas. I think I need a better brush. For the person and the wheels and a few of these other objects, I'm just going to use a very dark gray marker to pop in the darker color. And we've got some darker parts of the airplane in here too. So we've got some maroon and then we've got some kind of goldish maroon colors in here. So I'm going to start with some cranberry and some honeycomb and kind of add more color into it. This is the cranberry. And 
some of it's painted and the other part we're just using our artistic license to add it into these shadows. got all these struts but we'll add them in later. This is the honeycomb. I'm putting it in fairly heavily because I'd like it to pick up the colors that we put in underneath it cranberry and the eggplant. This is a cotton swab, the pointy one, and we'll be doing some lifting. That was a very long time with no lifting. I'm going to just kind of blend some of this random color in. Got lots of little parts here, but I'll just get some base color in. Okay, so now that I've got basic pattern of lights and darks in the piece, I'm going to come at it with some markers, and I've selected some of the yellowish ones and some browner ones. I've got one that's kind of a greenish color and one that's kind of burgundy. And I'm noticing that this shadow color that's under here, I'm not really sure what color that is, but I think that the greenish browns might help in there. I'm probably going to just put a bunch of different colors in and hope that optically it'll work out. Starting with the uh, yellow, and I had lightened a lot of this up. I'm going to pop in some with the marker. This is a little bit of alcohol. And this is that marker again. Actually, this shadow comes out all the way over to here. And this is the alcohol again, just lightening this top part. And continuing on to this side here, it's actually yellow up there. And again, a little bit more lightening on this sunnier part of it. This is one of the darker browns. I'm going to use it to establish some of the shadow lines. I'm going to, instead of using my glove, I'll use a cotton swab to kind of blend that color in. around some of these other slightly darker areas. This 
a more goldenish brown. This is the kind of a burgundy color. A little easier than coming back with the cranberry. Use the same color to put in these um, support pieces. So unless this is the very first video of mine you've watched, you can probably guess what's going to come next. I'm going to splatter it with alcohol. And I wanted to do this after I've got the main layers of color in, but before I put in too much detail. And this seems like a good time. So here we go. Okay, I think I'll let that dry for now. So at this point, I'd like to do a little bit of lightening and a little bit of tightening. And I'm going to start with the cotton swab here and just kind of softly blend in some of these areas. They look still pretty markery. And this will soften and lighten. This part is going to take a lot of work, I think. But we'll start off easier with the sepia pen and kind of work our way toward that part of the plane. I think this curve's not quite right, but I also think that I might just leave it alone. I've got a bar coming across, but I'll put that one in with the white pen. And I'll have to lift out the rest of the propellers. And I've got a yellow area here too. So I have some lifting to do for the propellers. Not quite sure how far they extend. And then there's some highlighting in the wheels. They're just not all the same color. This is a yellow marker. I'm going to add some pop of color in here. Through here. And then we have some slightly brighter areas of yellow hiding in these under wing areas. I'm just going to pop them in. This is 
is the white pen. I'm just going to add a little bit of highlighting to parts of it. There's a highlight on the, I guess it's the nose maybe. Maybe a little bit in the propellers. Not quite sure what happens there. And then we have this bar that comes across. So it's going in front of this one, behind that one, front of this one, and over to that one. And then there's just a couple little, little tiny highlights in the plane. And we've got some in this part of the engine too. These wheels look a little like they need some help. This is a dark marker. I think I'll just fill in a little bit more color and then splatter it because that'll make it just kind of blend. For the splattering, I'm going to cover over parts of the airplane. I don't really want to have to redo large areas of the plane. So that should let us get to the wheel without messing up too much. I'm not really sure I got all the splatters I wanted, so maybe we'll just fake some splatters. The last thing I'm going to do is come in with the micron pen and just add, again, just a few finer lines. Realizing that the propellers actually have to come out of this thing. For the last touch, I'm going to splatter it with the toothbrush and some cranberry. I'd like a little bit of something over on this side. Thank you.